It's official. In seven years, there will be Indian astronauts in space. In an exclusive interview to NDTV's science editor, Pallav Bagla, the new chairman of ISRO has said that the government is likely to clear a whopping 12,000 crore rupee budget for India's first manned space mission. We are sitting on India's rocket port at Shriharikota. So when can, when can exactly Indians hope to have an Indian in space from Indian soil using an Indian rocket? Seven years from now. Now means what? Because now is an ambiguous term. Now is when the serious efforts on the project starts. As of now, what we have is a pre-project study, understanding what is involved. We expect that the government will give us approval in a couple of months. In a couple of months, we yes. can hope to have the approval. Yes. So shall we look for a 15th of August announcement? Yeah, even before that. Even before that. So that's, that's, that's fairly big news you're giving, that we can hope to have the announcement of the human space flight program extremely soon. We are optimistic. We work for it when we get it. How much will that cost us? This total program is about 12,400 crores Indian rupees, the first phase of which would be a small money. 12,400 crores, crores is a lot of seven, money. Over seven years. It's a lot of money. Yes, 12,400 crores involves setting up of certain facilities which are there for long number of years. Parakrishnan sir, we still have 400 million people in India living below the poverty line. And you're hoping the government to foot 12,500 crore human space flight program? Can you keep your hand on your heart and say, is this the best expenditure we can do? Let me just recall, 46 years ago, the country decided to get into the space program. The same questions were asked at that time. The main focus was, we should use it for the common man. And today, after 46 years, we see that we have given back to the common man, to the country, much, much more than what has been put on the space program. So when this program is through in the human space flight, with the long-term vision that we have, 30 to 40 years from now, probably you could have a new source of energy.